What's good everyone on YouTube? It's me again, back with another video. And today we are taking a little departure to some different brands. We are actually looking at an ASICS or ASICS shoe. And this particular shoe is a collaboration with the Bulgarian fashion designer Kiko Kostadinov. Not gonna pretend I know much about him. I have seen some of the stuff he has. Not really my thing, but I did like these shoes, so I ended up picking them up. And uh, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Uh, without further ado, today we are talking about the Gel Socat or Socat Infinity in the triple black colorway. So, with the intro out of the way, let's get into the box. So, to go with the whole collaboration vibe, um, instead of like typical blue boxes, so we've actually got this matte black uh, ASICS box. So you've got the logo of ASICS and then Kiko Kostadinov written next to it. And then it's kind of repeated on the sides as well. And then when you flip the box open, you agree with some pretty standard uh, wrapping paper. And the shoes were stuffed with uh, standard wrapping stuffing. Uh, standard paper stuffing. And there was nothing else included, no extra laces, nothing like that. And we've moved to the side, it reads Gel Socat Infinity. Um, if anyone wants to write phonetically how you would say this, leave it down in the comments. Now, the retail price on this. Um, in Australia, these shoes actually retail for a really hefty $400. I didn't pay that, I actually picked these up on sale off a website, might have been Slam Jam. Uh, yeah, it was Slam Jam. And I picked these up for 275 Australian dollars. I'll put the conversion here. And to be 100% honest, I know like the Kiko Kostadinov collaboration is always kind of expensive, but if I can get it on sale, I will. So, with the box out of the way, let's get into the shoes. And here we are. The Gel Socat Infinity in the triple black colorway. Now I say triple black, but really it's a split because we've got gray on the side, but kind of going off the main feature of this shoe, um, you've probably noticed that the outside of the shoe is cut extremely low. It's actually a lot lower than most sneakers. It's a really low cut shoe. But then if we turn to the inside of the shoe, the A actually comes up and makes the collar a bit higher. And when you wear it on feet, you can actually feel this press against your ankle. So we've got this sort of like low to mid cut variation on the shoe. It's an interesting look and going along with the uh, raised portion, we've actually got a split in terms of the color. So it's not dead center, but we've actually got gray on this inside of the shoe and then black on pretty much the rest of it. And if you guys have ever seen, I think the Yeezy 500, you know that like, it's not truly a triple black. It's like these various tones of gray. And that's the same with this shoe, which I think is actually a pretty good thing because uh, it's nice to define the layers on this shoe. I will say the other two colorways really emphasized the layers and I really did like them, but they're just not very wearable. So that's why I ended up going with this pair. And in terms of Kiko Kostandov branding, we actually don't have much branding except for on the insole of this left shoe. We've actually got Kiko Kostandov written on the insole, but that's pretty much all you're getting with this. Which is kind of cool. You wouldn't really know what this is supposed to be unless you are in the know. And uh, the last thing to mention is uh, we've actually got these like classic sort of A logos rather than like the usual ASICs, I would say like stripes. And uh, you know, you don't see this very often on shoes, on the on ASICs shoes, so it was a nice touch in my opinion. Now moving down to the cushioning, um, this actually has, I think, the 360 gel sole. So essentially gel technology is ASIC's like proprietary cushioning tech. And in this particular shoe, there's no foam or anything. The, we've actually got a full length gel unit, which I think is, I think it's pretty new. It only came out maybe this year or last year. And I'll talk more about this gel technology later in the video for comfort. Now, in terms of sizing, I would say this shoe definitely fits like true to size if you like a really snug fit. So for myself, I bought these in a nine and a half and my toe doesn't touch the edge, but I would say it's probably like a millimeter, two millimeters off touching the edge. And with thicker socks, it does touch the edge. So I would say if you prefer a roomier fit, I would definitely half size up. But if you like exact fitting shoes, I would say go true to size. Now, in terms of comfort, the uh, gel technology is actually really quite nice to stand on. 
I didn't feel it as much in the heel, but in the forefoot, I actually find that the gel technology is better than like some of the competitors out there. Um, if anyone has owned an Ultra Boost, I actually think the forefoot comfort of this shoe is better than that. But the heel is still something left to be desired. Um, in terms of the upper, we've got a lot of mesh and it's pretty breathable. And even though we've got these other layers as well, the layers don't get in the way of flexibility. So overall, I'd say this is actually a pretty comfortable shoe. I will say it feels a bit odd having a, you know, mid-cut collar on the inside. Because then it just kind of feels like you're being grabbed on one side. But other than that, I would say comfort is uh, pretty good. I like it. Now I'll get into the part of the video where I talk about my opinions on this shoe. Now, I will say, if there were like maybe like a blue version of this shoe, I probably would have bought the blue version. I really love the purple and the green, but realistically thinking to myself, I could never wear those as often as I could wear this. And in this triple black colorway, I still think it looks great. And actually, with the dual tone, I think the triple black looks the best with the silver on the side. And uh, overall, I just think it's a really unique looking shoe. Yes, it's definitely not for everyone. And honestly, pants are kind of difficult with this shoe. Like joggers don't really sit really nicely on the higher collar. Um, I found that loose pants that kind of sit around the shoe seem to work okay with this, but it's definitely um, an eye catching shoe. Um, just a couple of things I wanted to mention, two things I want to mention in terms of uh, things I don't particularly like about this shoe. One, because of this gel, um, being a full length gel unit, it's actually quite a heavy shoe and it's only heavy on the bottom, it's really like bottom loaded in terms of its weight. Because most of the time with ASIC shoes you got foam and then the gel, but this with the full gel, while it feels nice, is quite heavy. And secondly, and probably the thing that annoys me most about this, for anyone who's ever owned a Vapormax, um, you would know that when you walk on like smooth surfaces, like wooden floors or tiles, they tend to squeak. Um, if you remember how squeaky they are, this shoe is actually worse when it comes to the squeakiness. Um, when I was walking on like some tile floors, you can just, it, you can hear it and it's a really high pitched squeaking noise. And that has to do with, I think like these nubs on the outsole. So, I mean, I'll play a recording of that right now. And as you can see in the recording, it's super loud and really distracting. I'm wondering if I wear this more often and shave away the gel a little bit that it might squeak a little less, but only time will tell. And with that, we've actually come to the end of another video. I'm trying to get these videos quicker. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd rather like these videos being longer or shorter, even though they always seem to be pretty long anyway. But I'd love to hear what you have to say about these uh, gel SoCat Infinities. And out of the three colorways, which one would be your preferred one? So for me, I'm sticking with the blacks, probably say purple's a second and then the green one's third. But I'd love to hear what you have to say. Like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video, and now time for the on feet portion, and uh, you'll get to see how I style this shoe. I don't know, maybe I should make style guys or something, who knows. And I'll catch you guys in another video.